Deadliest Catch Most Intense Moments Number 3 What many don't know about the Alaska area is the intense storms that occur in the area and the consequences of them can be seen on the show. You know, crab fishing is dangerous even on a flat, calm day. They start stacking up 30-foot seas and it gets incredible. This intense storm would soon cause a crew member to sustain an intense injury. Holy Are you alright? Hold on here. Okay. Are you no, sure? A 15-foot wave broke over the line. One of the crew members was hit by the harsh storm and wasn't able to continue working. This resulted in the worst combination on the show possible, as the crew had one less member to help them out in this rough storm. He's hurt. I mean, if he says he's hurt, he's hurt. I know. Real tight. Can't really move my neck much. My knees are just I'll make it out there. Fans of the show would know that Sig Hansen had his fair share of battles, both privately and publicly, from heart problems to his recent injury on the show. This all started when he worked for a new crew. This thing has to work, man. Hi, right, let's get him over. Sig's the boss, no matter if he's on deck or not. He's always the boss. As Sig Hansen got more comfortable, he started helping out more. However, since Sig Hansen is starting to get on the older side, coupled with the slippery floor, he tripped and sustained an injury. Oh, no. What's going on? Hey, get the pot out of the way! Get the pot out of the way! This took the entire crew by surprise, and Sig Hansen was in excruciating pain. Fans don't usually see Sig Hansen complaining, but this time he couldn't hold in the pain. You want me to give you some ice? Yeah, you got ice. I'll give you some ice, yeah. That's, you, you can't. That's not too tight. I'm afraid to make no. it tight. I just gotta keep ice on it for a while. I shouldn't have let you go out there. On the Stout Blast ship, things were getting more intense as Captain Jake Anderson and his crew were in the middle of an intense storm. You know, hopefully. At the worst moment possible, Jake Anderson lost control of the steering wheel, which can cause major imbalances in the ship and ultimately lead to the ship capsizing. Okay, we need one, one guy. From one guy. Tobias, yeah. get Tobias. There's a bilge alarm going off in the steering room at the stern. Tobias needs to go in the engine room. Yes. Tobias! Yeah. Tobias! Yeah. Engine room, Tobias! Oh. For real, for real! It turns out there was major malfunctions inside the ship itself and the crew needed to figure out how to fix these malfunctions before it became too late. Thankfully, the crew got to work and started fixing the broken pipe. You feel this with grease, you turn the handle, and you're pumping into this pipe, and into the, and into the seal there, and seal off the water. The Berna A was having some troubles between the crew members, as certain crew members were bullying and poking fun at other crew members. The method of approach is to be bullies, belittle a guy, be a about it, to try to get him to leave. And I don't play that way. This ain't Cape Caution. That's not how things roll around here. And if you guys don't see the big picture. Remarkably, Captain Seen stood up for this bullied crew member. However, this would only make things worse and caused even more drama between the crew. Exactly. 
Sean's got my back. I don't, I don't know. It's kind of a little embarrassing. I never said anything to him about. One of the most challenging aspects of being a deckhand on any of these ships is dealing with the massive crab pots. In this instance, the heavy crab pot caused a major and intense injury to a crew member. Bridles forward! No! This deckhand got hit by one of these 500 pound crab pots and was in extreme amounts of pain. However, he was unsure if he was able to continue working or if he could walk off the pain. Is your foot okay? If you want to get up there and help this guy. This shows just how harsh the world of crab hunting can be and how fast things can turn south. In Keith Colburn's long run north, pays off big. 12 days since we left town. We've been hauling gear for five and a half of those. Captain Keith and his crew were finding a decent amount of crabs. However, a crew member surely sustained a brutal and flat out intense injury. Okay, what's going on? Dude, I, this, this fisherman's back got completely destroyed by this over 500 pound table. He reported feeling dizzy and pain in multiple areas throughout his body. Uh, I'm glad you look at me for a second. Where, where's your hurt? They feeling anything weird or different? Feels heavy where? Okay, um, let's, uh, you know what, let's, let's just ease you into the house. This fisherman needed rest urgently, and the crew assessed the damage done to him. That's scary stuff there, man. That could easily have just crushed him and broke his back in about 10 spots. I mean, we don't know Roger's true status. We got to give him a little time. And we're out of time. We don't have the luxury of going shorthanded. to feel dizzy, very dizzy. Wait a second, I want to make sure his back's not up, you guys. I don't 